Hello all my magnificent map crusaders. You guys ever wondered about the meaning of nicknames? Mm. Well, I'm from the South. So nine times out of ten, you're either named after your father, a piece of food, or an animal. But for states, it's a little different. Well, almost. Oklahoma's the Sooner State. Montana, the Treasure State. Utah is the Beehive State. But today, we're going to figure out just exactly how these what? states earned their nicknames. Sweet Home, Alabama, the heart of Dixie. Alabama doesn't quite have a quote unquote official nickname, but the nickname most commonly used is the heart of Dixie. The phrase has appeared on license plates since the 1950s. But in 2002, Stars Fell on Alabama became the new nickname, which refers to the famous meteor shower over Alabama in 1833. States seem to have their own nicknames as well as their own mottos. Alaska, the last frontier, which kind of sounds like another Star Trek movie to me. But respectfully, because of its large amount of unsettled land, Alaska earned the nickname Last Frontier. According to Alaska's website, its official motto was North to the Future. Its original name came from its natives, meaning Great Land. The Grand Canyon State. Really no explanation needed here as to how Arizona got its nickname. It is proud to be home to the majority of the Grand Canyon. It's one of our nation's first national parks. Located in the northern part of Arizona, it's also one of America's world famous landmarks. The state adopted this natural wonder as its own nickname, the natural state. The state of Arkansas officially adopted this nickname in 1995. It was given this name because of its large amount of national forests, parks, and state parks. This replaced its former nickname, Land of Opportunity. According to California Senate website, California has officially been known as the Golden State since 1968. It began with the remarkable discovery of gold during the Gold Rush era in 1848. As a matter of fact, the official motto became Eureka. Colorado, the Centennial State. A lot of Spanish speakers will argue this, but according to Colorado State Government, Colorado has its origin in the Spanish language as the word for color red. During the year in 1861, Colorado became a territory when it was given its nickname, Centennial State. Connecticut was named the Constitution State by the General Assembly in 1959. According to the website, a popular historian, John Fisk, made claim that fundamental orders were the first written constitution in history. They called Delaware the first state. Delaware was one of the first of the 13 colonies to sign the U.S. Constitution. It became the official nickname in 2002 following a request by a first grade teacher at Mount Pleasant Elementary School. Florida has been known as the Sunshine State since 1970, but even before then, people referred to it as the Sunshine State because of its climate. Georgia, the Peach State. Its original name came from King George II. The nickname makes reference to Georgia's large amount of peach trees. The peach is also the state fruit. Not to mention, you're almost guaranteed to find a street named Peach Tree throughout the state. Hawaii has been calling itself the Aloha State since 1959. The word Aloha meaning hello and goodbye is one of the most commonly used words. Idaho, known as the Gem State. Idaho was believed to be a Native American Shoshone word for Gem of the Mountain, which seemed appropriate at the time because there's a large amount of gemstones. But as it turns out, Idaho was not a Shoshone word at all, but the name kind of stuck. Illinois has been known as the Prairie State since at least 1842 but they've been gearing towards Land of Lincoln. Locals have argued that the phrase the Prairie State doesn't do much to separate them from the rest of the Midwestern states like the Dakotas, Nebraska, and Kansas. Indiana's nickname Hoosier State came into play in the 1930s. John Finley's poem, The Hoosier's Nest, was published in the Indianapolis Journal. A well-known Indiana native made a toast at the Jackson Day dinner saying, The Hoosier State of Indiana, so the name just kind of stuck. Iowa's nickname, The Hawkeye State, is believed to come from the famous novel, The Last of the Mohicans. Eight years before Iowa actually became a state, the nickname was approved. Because of its vast amount of corn, it's also known as the Corn State. Kansas goes by numerous nicknames, but the one that's most popular is the Sunflower State. The sunflower grows all around the state and was named the official flower in 1903. When pioneers started making their way to Kentucky, they were welcomed by a field of tall grass with a blue tint. They called it bluegrass. But when it's cut, it doesn't appear to be blue at all. 
Still, they sold the seeds as bluegrass from Kentucky, so the name stuck. Louisiana. The Pelican State? Huh? When I think of Louisiana, I usually think of reptiles or crawfish, not pelicans. But Louisiana is proud of the brown pelicans, due to the fact they're unique to the state. They also made them a part of the state flag and seal. Maine's official tree is the white pine, and the state flower is the white pine cone. So it's only right that its official name would be the pine tree state. With 17 million acres of forest trees and pine trees, I think it's safe to say it deserves the name. Maryland, the old line state. The name was given by General George Washington for his courageous line troop during the Revolutionary War. It's also referred to as the Free State. Massachusetts was given the name the Bay State due to its winding coast and five bays. Its original name was Massachusetts Bay Colony. Michigan was named the Wolverine State during 1835 in the Toledo War between Michigan and Ohio. Ohio gave the people of Michigan the name Wolverine because they fought with such stubbornness. It later played a role in naming the University of Michigan mascot. When you guys think of Land of Lakes, you probably think of butter, but it actually has a bigger meaning tied in with Minnesota, the state where it's manufactured in. Minnesota is nicknamed the land of 10,000 lakes, but it actually has 11,842. Magnolia was voted Mississippi's favorite flower and treat by children in 1900 and 1935. Both of their votes were later made official by the state of Mississippi, which gave rise to the nickname. Missouri's nickname is not official, but it's widely used. During the 1899 Naval Banquet in Philadelphia, a Missouri congressman stated, Frothy eloquence neither convinces me nor satisfies me. I am from Missouri. You have got to show me. Montana's nickname, the Treasure State, refers to its rich mineral reserves. Silver and gold mines in particular. Corn is the biggest crop in Nebraska, and the University of Nebraska has been known to call themselves the Corn Huskers ever since 1899. Paying tribute to them both, they adopted the name Corn Husker State. Nevada has a list of nicknames along with Silver State, Sagebush State, the Battleborn State, but the Silver State is the one that appears on the license plates. The nickname comes from Nevada's large silver mine industry, which goes back to when it was still part of the Utah Territory. New Hampshire has four state nicknames, according to the state government, but the one that's most commonly known is the Granite State. Other names are Mother of Rivers, White Mountain State, and Switzerland of America for its beautiful alpine scenery. New Jersey, the Garden State. Most people associate the Midwest with agriculture, but New Jersey is home to more than 9,000 farms. They're one of the biggest producers of blueberries, cranberries, spinach, bell peppers, and also peaches in the country. The Land of Enchantment is New Mexico's nickname, which refers to its almost magical beauty. They tried other nicknames before settling, such as Land of the Heart's Desire, The Land Without Law, The Science State, The Space State, and The Atomic State, plus many more. They even tried the Sunshine State, but of course Florida beat them to it. New York has been called the Empire State so long, they're not really sure where the name came from. All they know is that in 1785, George Washington wrote a letter to the New York Common Council praising New York on their resilience in the war. He described them as the seat of the empire. Where North Carolina got its nickname Tar Heel State from is still up for debate. But one thing that they can agree on is that North Carolina was the largest producer of naval stores including tar and turpentine. They also say General Robert E. Lee coined the phrase Tar Heel Boys. The International Peace Garden rides the border between North Dakota and Canada. In 1956, the North Dakota DMV placed the words Peace Garden State on the license plates. It was so popular it became their official nickname. Other names people may know it as is the Flicker Tail State and the Rough Rider State. Ohio's name, the Buckeye State, comes from all the Buckeye trees that they have. The ninth president, William Harrison, was from Ohio, and his supporters carved campaign souvenirs out of the Buckeye wood. Way back in 1889, when Oklahoma was still owned by Indian Territory, it was still open to a lot of settlers. But some of them decided to settle before their due time. These early squatters were known as the Sooners. Oregon, the Beaver State. 
These overbite mammals are known as some of nature's engineers because of their dam building techniques. Their beloved animal can also be seen on the reverse side of the state flag. Pennsylvania, the Keystone State. Pennsylvania supports its neighbors the same way as a keystone in the arts supports the pieces around it. Its central location in the 13 colonies reminded everyone of a keystone. Rhode Island calls itself the Ocean State as a way to promote tourism to its beautiful beaches. For a state that's only 48 miles long and 37 miles wide, it's most recognized for its shoreline. South Carolina, the Palmetto State, has a valid reason to give honor to the Palmetto Tree. During the time that the colonists and the British were battling, it's been said that the cannonballs bounced off their fort that were made out of palmetto trees. The palm tree appears boldly in its flag and its nickname. The first thing that comes to mind when you think of South Dakota is probably Mount Rushmore. So naturally, it gets pinned with the nickname, the Mount Rushmore State. Tennessee received the name, the Volunteer State, as a way to pay tribute to the volunteer soldiers. There are a lot of opinions about how Texas became known as the Lone Star State. But one theory has to do with the state pride having fought against Mexico to win its independence. An important symbol in Utah is the beehive, which is why it's named the Beehive State. But an article in Salt Lake Magazine says that it has nothing to do with bees at all, but more to do with ancient symbolism in the Bible, which refers to the promised land and land of milk and honey. Vermont's nickname, the Green Mountain State, actually refers to the mountains after which it got its name, the Bird Mont. This is what the French settlers called this area of mountains in the 1600s, which translates to the Green Mountain. Just the same as New York, memory gets a little cloudy when it comes to remembering how Virginia actually got its nickname. One of the more accurate theories was Virginia was the first and oldest of the overseas dominions from the rulers of England. Washington, the only state to be named after a president, was given the nickname the Evergreen State. It took this name on because of the abundance of evergreen forests. West Virginia is known as the Mountain State, which refers to the Appalachian Mountains extending through the eastern part of the state. Its motto loosely translates to, Mountaineers are always free. Wisconsin's nickname has been known as the Badger State for a long time. That was up until the Senate bill failed to make the name official in 1996. Thoughts were that many people think of Wisconsin as America's dairy land, not Badger land. Wyoming has many nicknames according to its state government. The Big Wyoming, the Cowboy State, and the Equality State. It was named the Equality State because the women of Wyoming were the first women in the United States to have the right to vote, serve on juries, and hold public office. If you enjoyed this video or want to see others like it, hit that like button, subscribe, share, or feel free to comment.